Hey guys, this is Chromo67, and I'm coming at you with another weekly update. I think this is weekly update number five, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, you know, it'll be in the title, so, you know, who cares. Um, so, all I can say is I got the Clone Army Custom stuff. Sorry for any background noise. But I did get the Clone Army Custom stuff. Sorry, I'm plugging something out of the camera corner. <laughs> but, it looks pretty awesome so yeah once again sorry for any background noise my parents are yelling across the house like smart people okay so I got a Kix helmet well I didn't actually order this this actually was a freebie but I'll show that in a minute but I got a 212 helmet with macro binoculars dogma um a 501st trooper with macro binoculars two DC 15 S blasters and a DC 15 A rifle um, I also got a Z6 Rotary Blaster Cannon, but that's a freebie, and it, it's for my brother. Um, my brother also got two scuba rifles, a DC-15A rifle, and two concept pistols, and I will be showing all of these in the upcoming review. Well, not upcoming review, in just a minute, but, you know. Okay, so this is my second order, and the first thing I'll show is business card. I got a new business card, because... Yeah, it's got Delta Squad. Last time I got this one. This time I got this one. So yeah, just Tyler Page, all that good stuff. Scorch, Boss, Sev, and Fixer. And then on the side, Echo and Fives helmets. Which I hope to get in the future. I hope to get um, Fives and Echo. And I want to make the Umbara arc. Um, but these were my first three for that, and four for freebie, but yeah. Um, was not expecting a helmet, that was a pretty cool surprise. Okay, so first thing I'll get onto is the weapons. Um, the first weapon we've got is a scuba rifle. And, yeah, my brother's all into the scuba troopers, so he ordered a bunch of these. Well, he ordered two of these. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. Not much to say, it's a lot of detail. Very accurate. Focus. Thank you. So yeah, I'll show you what it looks like in his hand. See, that looks pretty nice. So there's the scuba thing. We've also got two concept pistols. So that's what that looks like. A lot of detail. Focus. So yeah, that's that. Um, and these white torsos, once again, are the real Lego Customs ones that I bought. And, well, me and my brother bought. So, yeah. Um, I'll review my brother's stuff first. Well, yeah, I was doing the weapons first. <laughs> okay. So here's the DC-15A. Really nice detail. Um, pretty size accurate, because the DC-15A is a pretty long weapon. Compared to... It's wielders. So yeah. Looks pretty cool. Um two DC fifteen S blasters. Um, and one Z6, I'm pretty sure that's right, right, Z6, Rotary Blaster Cannon. Focus. It's chrome silver, because it's like a freebie, so. That was really cool. This thing spins. And yeah, it looks pretty awesome. On to your minifigure. And you can just stand him up. Here's what it looks like. 
I'm just gonna... So I don't have, like, hard case or something to show you, but... I will in the future, because I am doing the Umbar arc, so I'll need a hard case. So yeah, that's what he kind of looks like. Okay. Sorry for any background noise. My cat is scratching my door. <laughs> Man, I must just live in a noisy house. Okay, so now on to the other stuff. The first helmet I will show you is the 212 scuba helmet that my brother got. See so yeah, how that looks really awesome. Here, I'll go ahead and stick it back on his guy. And yeah, that's it's a really nice mold. It almost looks like the, a mix between the Phase 1 helmet and the ARF Trooper helmet designed by Lego. Almost just like a mixture between those. But it really works. And it, it, this is kind of like a free thing on him because we never actually see Scuba 212 Troopers, so he kind of made it based on what he thought they would look like, so that's pretty creative of him, of Tyler. So, yeah. Um, yes, that's about it for the 212 Trooper helmet. Now on to the 501st helmet. So, there is his helmet. There's a small misprint right here. I think that's a misprint, but... Well, it looks like a misprint, so correct me if I'm wrong, if you know. Um, so yeah, basically the same thing, just with a blue line on the top instead of an orange one. They also both come came with um, white scuba backpacks, so that's pretty nice. Not much to them. Okay. Now on to my stuff. So I got a Kix freebie helmet. And this is pretty nice. There's big printing error right there is the one problem I have with this helmet. But I think that's in all of them. Um, this one is a really scratched up one. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's a couple of nicks in it. And I think that's why Clonery Customs gave it to me as a freebie. But either way, it's a freebie helmet. And that is welcome here because I was going to make a kicks anyways. So free four dollar helmet does not bother me at all because I was gonna buy one anyways. <laughs> so yeah. That is kicks. Well kicks helmet. So yeah. And you will see this on a Kix minifigure later in the future, but I do not have a body for him, so it will not be in the near future as far as I can tell right now. Next, I've got a 212 Trooper with macro binoculars. Um, the macro binoculars are really nice, especially the 212th ones. Um, the 501st ones, I'll, I'll talk about those in a minute, but they're not as good in my opinion. <clears throat> it's really tight to the... Um, minifigures helmet, so you can't move it all the way up like the five of first ones. Um, small misprint right there. It's like a small blotch on the, and it's a little bit messed up on the orange line on the top of his helmet. Um, really good. I don't know, mask or whatever, or face T visor piece. We've got the breathers. Here's him with the macros down. Looks really nice. One accuracy issue that is kind of funny, because LEGO actually got this right, and Clunary Customs didn't. Um, if you don't know, 212 Troopers, the orange mark go that goes down the top of their helmet actually stops halfway. LEGO's actually got that, because they stopped the printing halfway, but it's actually accurate to the series. Because, yeah, Clunary Customs continued theirs all the way to the back, but in reality, it stops, like, there. However, I think it looks better going all the way across, so I'm glad CSC stuck with that. And yeah, that is the 212th Trooper helmet and macro binoculars. He will be a 212th Trooper. Um, and this is the 501st Trooper. So, yeah. He's got a D15A. And, yeah, see this one, it's so far away from the helmet that it actually, 
goes way back. And if you can't tell, it's a little uneven. You can go all the way back here. So, yeah. T-Visor looks really nice. Um, a little bit of a printing error right there. It kind of jolts out a little. Um, yeah, the breathers are nice. Um, basically, everything is nice about the helmet, except for that one spot right there. It's a little bit uneven. Everything else is really good, though. Um, now, onto the macros. The macros, there's a small printing error right there. It did not print all the way over the white. Um, there's some pieces of plastic stuck out from the mold, like right there. Um, the blue is a little bit faded up here. Um, yeah, for 250 for a faded macro binocular, that's not, that's not very, um, that's, I don't know, that doesn't make me very happy, but, you know, whatever. So, yeah, that's what it looks like with, and that's with them raised. And it kind of looks really awkward on camera with the whole um, no T visor thing on these guys, which is accurate to the Clone Wars series, not accurate to the movies. But I mean, it looks kind of awkward, but it actually, in real life, it actually looks really good. But on camera, it looks awkward. It makes it look like the head is bigger, but in real life, they actually look pretty awesome, especially with the macros down. Um, so here's Dogma. really good printing. I can't really complain about this one at all, except for a very small circle instead of it being like a straight triangle. It's more of a circle right here. I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but, well, and I don't mean this triangle right here. I mean the one right here where the two blue things connect, but, um, I don't know if that's accurate or not, but either way, it's not a very big deal. It's hard to notice, and it looks great. I can't really complain about this helmet really at all. Um, well, that and the fact that this blue mark right here is a little bit uneven. But besides that, it looks awesome. And he has a DC-15 S. And the only reason he has this one is this is the one that came with the... Um, uh, seriously, I can't remember it now. Real Lego Customs, that's what it was. Um, that was the freebie that came with it, and I just gave it to Dogma, because I needed somewhere to put it. So, yeah. That is about it for this weekly update. So, I'll just stick all of the guys over here. And I will be doing the whole Lombard series, if I can, by the end of the summer. But that is no... Don't, don't get mad at me if I don't come anywhere near that, because... I mean, I have a lot to do over this summer. I'm going to be going to camps a lot and all this other crud. It's like, uh, so yeah. Um, don't get mad if that gets postponed. But as of now, I will be getting the um, Umbara arc done. Um, once again, do not expect 212th or 501st customs from me. Because they, I mean... 212th and 501st Customs, um, I mean the scuba, not the regular ones, the regular ones will come, but, I mean, I've already got decals designed for Dogma, the 212th Trooper, and 501st Trooper, um, I do not have it for kicks, though, <laughs> and probably won't for a while, but, I'm talking about the scuba versions of, um, the 212th and 501st Trooper, because those are my brothers, and I do not plan on reviewing them at this point. So, yeah, that's about it for this weekly update. Um, that one, bubble wrap, and a package. So, yeah, but those are the normal ones you get with any LEGO customizer or whatever. But, so that's about it for this review. Please hit the subscribe button up there. Up, up there? No, wait, isn't it down there now? Yeah, everything's down there now. I'm sorry, I'm still used to that whole subscribe button being up there, but they changed it a while a while back. Okay, so hit the subscribe button down there, the like button down there, the comment button down there, and read the description down there, and everything's down there, and it's annoying down there, so yeah. <sighs> I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I know I'm not. 
Um, if you guys know where a good place to get a, like, minifigure case, um, is, like, a place for all your minifigures, um, please tell me. And one that's in the U.S., not like that minifigure one that's in Britain or whatever, because I really don't feel like ordering overseas, because not only will that take a while, it'll be more money for shipping and all this other stuff, and my mom probably won't let me. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's about it, I think, because I would like like a place to put my minifigures and then have their weapons and all this stuff. And I've got like bags from orders for me to put them in so I can be like stick like I can put dogma in his little bag of awesomeness just to make you feel better dogma you're getting cuz you know you're in prison and all that other stuff we're just going to stick you in a bag of awesomeness which yeah that'll fix everything. So yeah, but that's about it for this weekly update. So once again, please rate, comment, subscribe. This is, wait, I want to get Dogma back up in front because his helmet looks awesome. And I'm pretty sure his figure will look awesome. A lot of you don't like Dogma, but come on, you got to give him some credit. He kicked Krell's butt. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. And this is Chromo67 signing off. Bye, guys.